We know the retail industry had a strong holiday season, and that carries over to other sectors. For instance, according to the International Council of Shopping Centers, about 70% of shoppers who stay in a mall longer than 50 minutes will buy food and beverages. Another discretionary industry that's doing really well is the fitness industry. Joining me right now, the director of talent at Rumble Boxing, yes. Andy Stern. You know, Andy, you, you, your business interests me so much because we're all into health, but you've added a novelty to it. You've made it relevant. You've made it cool. You've made it timely. We've made it fun. Yeah. Right. So the group fitness world, you have spin, you've got a lot of running. We wanted to bring boxing to the masses and we wanted to have fun doing it. So we've got 60 individuals in a room, loud music, projectors on the wall. So it's easy to follow. We wanted to take away the guesswork. Uh, we do five rounds on the bag, five rounds on the floor with dumbbells and strength. And it's a blast. It's absolutely it's, it's so much fun. And, and your revenue's off the charts. You guys are doing extremely well. Very well. Uh, we, we launched our first one in January of 2017, so we're coming up on two years. We launched uh, the second one in NoHo, the third one in West Hollywood, Los Angeles. Came back to New York for a five-story Upper East Side. And then we just launched Financial District San Francisco last Tuesday, in the hardest weeks of the year. Wow. We had 600 paid customers day one. So, so you're the founding trainer. founding trainer. What has surprised you? Has the demographics, the age group, what has surprised you about the reaction to your model? Biggest surprise to me, I think, is that the people itself, it, it is not just a boxing world, right? It's not just a professional athlete world. It's people want to feel good. They want to learn a skill. And they also want to, it's a little bit of a therapy session, to be honest. Uh, so as much as it's... Um, exciting for me to train athletes and celebrities. I love seeing the average customer come back day in, day out, and honestly, not just improve them physically, but mentally. So you've developed not only quite a reputation, you've got a couple of pretty terrific investors that are driving We've got some great names. Uh, Sylvester Stallone and Justin Bieber were one of the first two that really fell in love with the concept. Um, and they've helped us really take this thing off to the, to the next level. Equinox being our largest investor as well. Uh, they helped us early growth, and it's really only getting started for us, which is exciting. Wow. So, so with that type of investors and this type of growth, what do you attribute your success to? Because it's not just health, because you're not just not a just health, health club. What is it that defines your success in your view? It's an experience, and I really think that's where health has um, It's been a big factor on it in the sense that people want to go out and do things, you know, especially clients bring in clients. They don't want to go out to dinner and spend four or $500 on steaks and drinks. They bring them to Rumble. They work out together. They get a great sweat, a great time, listen to great music. They take pictures. They share it on social media. It's just really this fun experience. And young millennials are spending great dollars. I mean, we spend, we charge 32 to $36 a class, right? So they're spending good money for 45 minutes. We're giving them the best workout, but we're also giving them a fun experience. And that's really the big part of it all. So it isn't just health and fitness, it's relevancy. It's relevancy. They want to come, they want to take pictures with our Instagram moments, they want to tell their friends, they want to buy the swag. It's a whole thing now. It's become a thing. And it's, we don't consider ourselves cool by any means. Rumble boxing is not cool. The people are telling us we're cool and we're, we're loving every moment of it. We love the people coming, taking photos and sharing it and working out with us. Well, you've added a lot of excitement to the fitness sector. And it's great to see. Question, can we take some of those boxing gloves and send them down to Washington? What do you think? Maybe the Washington, Republicans could use them? How about this? Washington, D.C. in late spring. I'll be there. Me and my wife, we're coming. We're opening up Rumble Boxing, Washington, D.C. That's so, up in the horizon for 2019. So bipartisan boxing? Anyone can put the gloves on. How about that? It'll be a good fight. <laughs> great to have you, Andy. Thank John, you. John, pleasure. Thank pleasure. you. Pleasure.